up with it y'all it's JD and James and we're back with another quick video and today we actually just left Costco so we did a little bit of food shopping you know get that high octane fuel in our system so one of the beauties of fitness health and nutrition is that everybody has their own approach so we're going to share with you guys what James has in his, in his shopping cart and if you want to share how much it costs at Costco and then I'm going to share with you guys what I got in my shopping cart and how much my, my Costco bill came out to um, I guess I'll start with the proteins, uh, salmon, turkey breast, brown bison, is one of my favorites right here. I got the um, Oikos Greek yogurt, some staples, I got the rotisserie chicken. So I am a big fan of meat when it comes to building muscle. Um, I definitely respect you vegans out there more on the ethical standpoint, but when it comes to performance, um, I think meets where it's at. Um, I will get into my carbs. I've got Envy apples. I mean, that, it straight up tastes like candy. I mean, you can't tell me that Envy apples does it taste phenomenal. I have grapes, cucumbers, spring mix. And then the favorite is the purple sweet potato. Phenomenal, phenomenal food. Um, and then when it comes to healthy fats, I already have at my house. I like to eat a lot of pistachios, cashews, almonds. I'm a big fan of oils, so coconut oil, avocado oil. Uh, olive oil is good as well. You just can't cook the olive. You can't cook olive oil past 300 degrees, so you need to keep that in mind when you're when you're using the olive oil. It gets rancid past a certain temperature, so you got to check the temperature. You know what the heat levels are on the on the bottle of avocado oil or on a bottle of uh, olive oil when you get it. I mean, the only other quick thing I want to touch on with nutrition is when you're cutting, when you're bulking, you you can kind of get away with being a little bit sloppy when you're bulking, but when it comes to cutting, every single thing you put in your body counts especially the breakdown because if you start going a little bit too heavy on the carbs you're you can't squeeze in all your fats and proteins and i think for when it comes to cutting it really is important to get enough protein and then also fats if you don't get enough fats and you start getting too lean you're actually going to notice your hormone levels are going to drop and you will notice a decline in performance you're going to feel more tired you're not going to be as strong um just quick things to think about all right, now let's get my card up a little bit. So, I already kind of had went shopping the other day at Whole Foods, so I got a few things. But, you know, I kind of wanted to re-up on the veggies. I always go with the Brussels sprouts. This is like, what, this is four pounds of Brussels sprouts right here. Um, I, that was the only veggies I got, so I already got asparagus at my house, and I already have some spinach at my house. I got some avocados here for the fats. As far as the fruit goes, you guys, oh, here goes some more veggies right here. Something I'm going to throw in my veggie bowls, organic brown onions. Um, as far as the fruit goes, I'm a huge proponent of grapes. As you guys saw maybe on my last video, I was crushing grapes in my uh, What I Eat in the Day Part 2 video. And then I've got dates here. This is another thing. This James was talking about those apples tasting like candy. Dates are super sweet, so these are really like candy. I like to stuff these with peanut butter and uh, throw them in the freezer. And as far as frozen fruit, I got some uh, organic blueberries from my uh, smoothies. So, you guys, I put frozen fruit in my smoothies. I even like to freeze my uh, bananas when I throw those in my smoothies as well. And then, this is a staple of mine. I know James likes the purple sweet potatoes. I love the regular, you know, the regular sweet potatoes, the big ones. These are the ones I like to make my sweet potato fries with. I like to uh, put these in my veggie bowls as well. All right, it's a windy day out here, y'all, and the uh, phone just dropped. But anyways, like I was saying, I picked up some marlin the other day at Whole Foods, a few of those steaks. But, you know, I'm not a huge meat eater, but I, I do love fish. But today I went ahead and went and picked up one of these rotisserie chickens from Costco. I couldn't help myself. It smelled good, looked good, and I do love chicken as well. Um, so that's that's pretty much it for the grocery haul. My uh, groceries cost about $75, a little bit more than that. I don't know how much yours were, James. $150 I spent. Yeah, but the thing is, is when you're spending money, I just spent $75, I think, at, at Whole Foods yesterday. But the thing is, when you're, or maybe two days ago, 
when you're putting the high octane in your system, it's gonna cost more. When you go to the, uh, the gasoline station, what costs more, the 87 or the 92? The 92 is gonna cost more, but the 92 is gonna have that car clicking on all cylinders. High performance vehicle, you gotta, we work opposite of cars. Cars, you get the high performance first, and then you gotta fill with high octane. Where you gotta put the high octane in first, and then you get the performance out later. Exactly, so guys, do not be skimpy when it comes to your budget, when it comes to your food. You have to put the best into your body in order for you to have that longevity, in order for you to have that performance. But anyways, if you guys are interested in getting in the best shape of your life, hit up my website, that's travelstanks.com. Book a free consultation with me today. Me and James will holler at you later. We're coming out with more content. Hit up our website as well, that's highoctanecalisthenics.com. Again, highoctanecalisthenics.com, travelstanks.com. Uh, hit us up, reach out to us, and we'll be sure to hear. All right, guys, another thing that I wanted to touch on, me and James are on our way back from uh, Costco. Another thing I wanted to touch on is not necessarily what's in our grocery carts, but what's not in our grocery carts. You can look at what's in our grocery carts and you can say, oh, James and, and uh, John, they eat, they eat different. But at the same time, we actually really don't because there's a lot of things that we didn't have in our grocery carts that's very similar. A lot of breads, processed sugars, you know, you know things that come out of a box there's a lot of whole foods in both of our grocery carts i think maybe the all of our the, everything in our grocery carts was whole foods so james you want to touch on that yeah when, a lot of times people start from a very bad place on their diet journey so you know i don't want to give anyone kind of like a negative feeling or kind of any shame when it comes to like their diet you know yeah. and you can kind of transition to a more whole foods diet slowly you yeah. know maybe start with one food at a time and you're going to notice when you eat the food and you keep adding it to your diet you're actually going to start craving the healthier foods you're going to stop craving you know candy and you might start craving an apple you might stop craving McDonald's bread bun and you might start craving yams mm -hmm. and I think slowly kind of it's almost kind of like a training program where sometimes people start a little bit too fast and people want to kind of just flip their diet on its head and then they go straight into a 1500 calorie deficit and then they notice they get these insane cravings because their body's used to getting 4000 calories of junk food and now they're putting in you know 1500 or 2000 calories of clean food and they're just miserable. So, you know, maybe start off by eating one healthy whole foods meal per day, and then eventually you might change it into two, and eventually three. And then you're gonna notice it really isn't hard to be disciplined when you are watching the performance benefits that come with it. I think the reason why a lot of people have such an easy time eating junk food is because they're not correlating that with how they're feeling and we were kind of laughing about this the other day like when you eat super healthy you almost are like walking around with almost a mild high throughout the entire day and then you eat one bad meal and you realize how terrible it makes you feel and it's it makes it where it's not really even as much about discipline as it is about knowing how much better you feel when you eat good food Man, the other last month I did a 30-day processed sugar fast. I didn't eat processed sugar for uh, for basically a whole month. And when I I, I went up up to the North Shore and uh, out here in Oahu, and there's this spot where you can get this banana pudding bread. I went and got like two of them and a couple cookies. Man, I I was literally like a crack fiend eating it at the time, but I felt so terrible the next day. I literally was in, I, I usually wake up at five o'clock in the morning every morning. The next day I was literally in bed almost sick because of how I felt after eating all that processed sugar. It's like my body just put, I just put poison in my body and my body was just rejecting it. So, you know, it's, and this is not to shame, just like James said, it's not to shame anybody who's kind of in that process where they're still eating unhealthy foods because there was a certain point where my body just was, it was like, you put that processed sugar in me and it's just like, it, that's nothing, you know, because I was used to eating, you know, two, three donuts a day. Or maybe when I was working, uh, I used to, when I was working at my uh, old job, I'd go to work and go get like a pack of gummy bears or something like that every day or some Sour Patch Kids, and it was nothing to me. But now, the more clean that I've been eating, 
the more sensitive my body gets to it. And just like James was mentioning earlier, um, we are all our own science experiment. So just kind of play around with the foods that's in your diet. You know, add this, subtract that, see what the effects are. And you know, you'll end up gaining that knowledge yourself over your body and figuring out what works for you and what doesn't work for you. And if I could just add a quick little uh, thing, you know, pick a diet that's conducive to whatever goal you're focusing on. You might be on a channel, but you might be an endurance athlete, and I would not recommend my diet for an endurance athlete. That's, I have way too much protein in there, and I would actually probably recommend you know, more like a tiny bit of fish with a lot more vegetables and fruits. Just for an example, you could also have a diet that makes you feel very clear mentally. So when you choose what diet you're gonna use, um, you have to think about what, what is your priority. Are you trying to build muscle? Are you trying to lean out? Are you trying to just be more energetic and f just feel healthier and, and live longer? Um, that All of those components are going to kind of clarify for you what foods are going to benefit you the most. Sure. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for this grocery store haul. Uh, we wanted to share, share with you guys what we got at Costco, you know, how we shop, the type of things that we eat, the type of things that we probably try to stay away from. And you're not going to be perfect. I, I, I showed you guys this the other day when in my video where I was uh, kind of shopping for uh, groceries at Whole Foods. Even me, like, you know, I see like cheese and crackers and that's just maybe one of my weaknesses or maybe it might be chips and salsa one day and, you know, I might go grab some of those. But it's just something when you know you have a weakness for certain types of junk foods or certain types of foods that might not be conducive to the type of results that you want, just try to keep them out of your house. And when you do buy them, don't buy them. Definitely don't buy them at Costco because you're going to be buying them in bulk. But, but buy, them at, buy them at a place where they're expensive or buy them in like single serving so you can make sure that, you know, it's not something that you're going to be eating every day for the rest of the week. And always, always, always stay in the fight. Definitely. What we mean by that is I don't care if you binge eat, you know, you do like a 10,000 calorie challenge. The next day, keep trying. Exactly. Just the worst thing that can happen is just breaking mentally. Even if you, I don't care if you have, you know, three cheat meals, whatever, but if you keep on having that determination over a period of, you know, three to five years, you're eventually gonna get it where you're locked in and you're gonna get to that point, but it will come with time. You know, for me, it took me a while. You know, I used to be attached to different foods and um, for me to eventually be able to cut those out and be content with that took a long time. It was almost kind of similar to like training. You know, you, you show up and you know, you first start 10 pull-ups might be difficult and then you know after a few years 10 pull-ups might be your rest day same thing with the diet view it as um, you can increase your diet performance or your mental yeah. discipline or even just learning to enjoy healthy foods but it's funny because I it, you, James was showing me a picture of himself earlier when you know and well, maybe I don't know it might have been a couple years back but he was still actually in good shape he had a lot of muscle mass on him but the thing is, he just had like a lot of inflammation as well. And that all comes from the diet. That all stems from the diet. It's the same thing with me. Even before I had made like my fitness transformation, I had a lot of muscle mass on me, but I just was, uh, get off right here. I had a lot of muscle mass on me. It was just that I had a lot of inflammation as well. So just keep that in mind. Try to stay away from those inflammatory foods, processed foods, things that come out of a box. But anyways, guys, we'll highlight you guys later. Uh, if you guys found value in this video, go ahead and share it with a friend. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new. That means all of our channels. Uh, that's High Octane Calisthenics, uh, James's channel, Jay-Z Calisthenics, and my personal channel, Growth Through Calisthenics. Peace.